Hey everyone, um, first face video, here I am. Um, so really quick, um, I have this intro already recorded and then I deleted it and da 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 da. So now I'm really quick just doing it again um, so I can get my video up for you guys. I have a lot of people asking. So um, first thing I wanted to show you some dried pieces. This is one from a few videos back. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just kind of moving it because I can't tell where the glare is. So that's that one, love it, dried nicely. And um, this one is one of my favorites, that as well dried nicely. This is on video on my channel as well, um, for anybody that's new watching. Um, okay, so really quick, um, I took the Shelly Art online course. Um, I do have a 10% off for anybody that's looking to take the course. Um, you just need to... It, all the info, it, all the info is in my description. But you pretty much just message me on one of my social media sites, and I will give you the code. Um, totally take it. It's an amazing course. It's packed with information. Uh, Shelly is awesome in it. She, her videos are fabulous. She's funny. Uh, she's fun to watch, um, and you learn lots. Um, it's totally opened my eyes to this um, just pouring style. Um, and other mediums and not to be afraid to, you know, grab something off the shelf and try it and use it and everything else. So I'm so excited for the future of my art, um, which is one of the reasons I wanted to share with you guys um, the ingredients and stuff that I'm using to get the bloom look like this. Um, now it's not Shelly's exact recipe because I'm not from Australia, so I can't get the same products. I did manage to find some equivalents, um, some ingredients I'm not using because I couldn't get them, um, or I could get them, but what I'm using is working for me without them. So da da da. Long story. Um, but yes. So I'm gonna show you what I use to get this, um, and. Hopefully you guys can take something out of what I'm showing you and have a go. Um, or if you want to learn from the master and get her exact recipe and the exact things that go into her mix, you can take the course and then you get into the group, the Facebook group afterwards. So if like I'm from Chicago, but I'm in Ireland. So a lot of you, if you, when you see what I'm using, you might not be able to get some of it the same ingredients or the same products. Um, some of them you might, some of them you might not. So like if you're in the US, uh, I know Tammy posted her video. It, Tammy Anderson, she posted it the other day, uh, two days, two or three days ago. Um, so you, if you're not on the Facebook, you don't use Facebook. I know a lot of people just don't like Facebook, so they don't use it. You can go check out her channel and see the ingredients that she uses to get her results. Um, I know for, I know, uh, Canela Sirocco, hopefully I'm saying that right, I will link them both in the description below. Uh, she'll be putting up a video of some stuff, the stuff that she uses to get her results, um, and she's from Canada, so if you're from Canada, da 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 da. Um, I'll link all that below. I know Shelly, she has a YouTube as well, she's going to be posting some videos, I believe. Um, she's hilarious to watch. She's, her art is amazing. I've been a huge fan of her. I think maybe like two years now I've been following her and going through her Instagram and trying to figure out how she does it. And then when I heard she was going to release the course, that was that. No question. I was taking it right away. So I saved for it and doomed. Um, but yeah, I have 10% Shelly gave me. Or she, she, sorry, Shelly. Um, Shelly gave me to give to my subscribers. You want to learn from the master, okay? I've just started doing this, so this is just the way, this is how I'm doing it, and you want to learn from the master. So, her videos are packed with all great information, and it's, it's, she's just fun to watch as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll link her Instagram as well in the description. And then also I want to give a shout out to Tammy Anderson for giving me the courage to post this video because I was in two minds about it and she pretty much said it like it is. So head over there and check her channel out. Um, thank you, Tammy. And all right, guys. Okay, so here we go. 
Um, normally I don't use this. I'm gonna use it and see. Okay, first things first, pouring medium. I am using uh, Valspar Wood and Metal Interior Gloss Blend V700 Base C. Base C. Okay, so let's get this opened up. I'll show you. This is just an untinted, no titanium white, um, an untinted base paint. So you'd add your color in here to mix up, or the people in the in the shops, in the hardware stores would. So, let me show you what it looks like. Okay. So there's that. Um, I got this from my guy at Otrol. This was a sample product of something that they were going to be manufacturing, but they decided not to. Um, polyurethane gloss varnish should do the trick. Like for example, after I run out of this, I've had just as great results using Folk Arts um, varnish there. Hopefully you can see that. So I have loads of these laying around for my backup. I like this because it's really, really thick. And I'd rather work with, start off with a thick pouring medium than a thin. This would be a lot thinner than this. So, but you could still use this, no problem. Yeah, I'm sure you can use any um, varnish that is polyutherane. <laughs> um, but yeah, so again, that's something you go to the group. After you take in the course, you go to the group and see what people are using in your area. So this is kind of useless to you guys. Um, but like I said, you can get this. So what I'm going to do, so we have our <sighs> untinted base paint and our varnish. Okay. So I just set this to mill, right? Put this in there, zero it out to zero. Um, so I'm going to do, we're going to go up to 60 because I have some of this mixed already and I'm running low. So I'm going to do 60, 60 or so. Like I said, I just eyeball this. Um, it's, it doesn't have to be exact for me anyway. I don't really measure a lot. I should, but I don't. Okay, so let's get rid of that because we don't need that now. And I'm trying to do this fast because I have like an hour before the kids are home. Okay, so I did 60 mil and I'm going to do, let's see, right, I'm going to go up to 90. So I did 60 mil and I'm doing of the base and I'm going to 90. I don't even know. I just, like I said, I don't measure. It's very forgiving. Let's get rid of this. See, I'm a mess. I'm trying to be fast. I'm unorganized. Okay, now, uh, you should gloves, mask, all that good stuff. Ventilation. Make sure you do that. Get that away. And I don't need this anymore. So that was 60 of the untinted, ba untinted base and 30 of the varnish, and you'll see my results um, after I pour. So I have that. Now let's mix up some colors. Okay, today I'm going to go with the colors that I used in one of my previous videos. Okay, so we're going with Color Arts. Primary Elements Snapdragon. I have so many different colors of the color art pigments that I'm going to do a video on these specifically because I just got a fabulous package from Leslie and I cannot wait to dive in. Um, so I'm going to use this pigment and I'm going to add, because there's going to be a lot of stretching and I don't want it to break apart, um, I'm going to add Violet from Arteza. 
Now, you don't have to add tube paint. I do. I have some mixing white coming in the post from Amsterdam soon. I'm going to add that. I like to have a bit of body in my pigments and all that. Um, so that's how I do it. I have done it where I just mix this only and it's fine. But I do like to have at least one or two, two paints in this technique. So I'm going to mix rose and neon pink together as one color. So we're going to do our violet, this, and now I already have my favorite. Of course, I have this mixed up. This is Pearl X uh, Green Apple and Yellow Green by Arteza. And this is pour already mixed with the pouring medium at all. There's no point. I'm actually out of Apple Green now after this. So unfortunately, I have to get more. Okay, so I'm going to, we're going to one, two, three colors. So let's get three cups out. Okay, nope, two cups, because we already got that. So let's start with this. Get one of my sticks. I reuse everything until I can't anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with color art. Snapdragon, definitely mask and all that stuff, guys. So again, I don't measure, so I'm gonna do yay. And that. And maybe a little bit more. We'll make a bigger batch. Put the lid on. Some little particles don't escape. Put that there. And then, oh no, not that. So to wet this down, you don't have to wet that. You could wet this with the pouring medium or whatever. But I like to use, again, I got this advice from somebody in the group. Uh, Golden's Retarder. So. I just don't measure. Let's see, I gotta make sure I can see. Add a little bit just to wet them down. And, you know, I go a little bit, and then if I need a little bit more, if they're, um, they haven't fully dissolved, then I'll add a little bit more. Okay. Now, this is just the pigment with the retarder. You can use really anything to wet this, guys. Don't be stressing about... I mean, this was not the cheapest, so... Um, so there we have it. Okay, now I could, because my gloss varnish that I put in the untinted base is super thick, so it's really made my pouring medium just perfect. So I could just add that into here, but I like to mix colors and play, so. And I think it helps keep um, the pigment, you know, binds it to prevent breakage. So I literally just do, again, no measuring. I just do one, two, three drops today. Just depending how much I have in there. It's forgiving, guys. You don't have to be exact, like, Okay, so then I mix that up. Um, sometimes I'll throw in, like the other day I did some, and I dropped in some Liquitex um, dioxazine um, ink, two drops. Just get a deeper color. So it's just, it's plain, I mix, I like doing that. That's probably one of the best, most rewarding parts to this process is mixing color. Okay, so there you have that. I don't even know if I'm helping you guys, but I'm gonna try. Um, okay, so here's my, I'm trying to fly through this because this video is gonna be too long. I'm not measuring this as well. Okay, so I have, there's probably, I mean, you could see there's not much in there. This technique doesn't take much, right? There's just a tad in there. So I'm just gonna cover. I'd say maybe, One part paint, two parts medium or so. One part paint, two parts medium or so, sorry. Just speak up. So we mix that, and then I see how I feel about it. And then another thing, I, you know, at first I was trying to get all the, make sure all the, the cons consistencies were 
exact and all that for all my colors. Now I just, I don't really worry about that that much. I mean, they can't be like way too far off, but I think it's just this recipe is so forgiving and everything just stays and moves together. Works as one. Okay, so that's gorgeous. Okay, so there's one. All right, we're flying now. So I got my rose and neon pink. Okay, so rose. Boom. I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to go three dollops. I might do a bit more than the, I might, I'm going to go four. And look at that. It's uh, going to explode out. One, two, three, four. Okay, I went four on that. Now, I'm out of sticks and all that. Well, no. No, yeah, I am, aren't I? Okay. So, mix this together. Why, yes. I'm sorry guys, I'll, if I had more time I'd be a bit more slow, but you guys don't want to sit through a 45 minute video, I don't think. Okay, so there's that, yeah? Now, pouring medium, same thing, I'm not measuring guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just pouring some in. Quickly mixing. I mean mix well, definitely mix well, but I'm just trying to hurry for the sake of the video. And then if I have something that's way too thick, I might add a dash more of the pouring medium. And then after that, I'll add a bit of water, just a small bit of water and thin it. You guys know that though. Go slow when you're adding your water. Okay, so see, that's, let's see. That's a bit on the thick side. But see, I sometimes would go with that. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a small bit more pouring medium. It's very forgiving, you guys. It's this. I don't think that this technique and the recipes, I don't think they need to be so complicated. Or I think, honestly, if you have certain ingredients, I think everybody could do this. It takes practice and experimenting. But I've been blowing on paint for a while. So, like, it didn't take me too long to get it down. Um, but if you, you know, if you're a first time pouring or doing something near this technique, yeah, it'll probably take you a few goes, but to me, that's the fun part. Okay, so I'll probably add a little splash of water. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm trying to fly. Okay. I'm gonna let that sit, and before, right before I pour it, I always give them a mix to check the consistency, consistencies, because they get thick and all. That is one thing I've noticed, and then I just add a small bit of water, and that's done. Right, so this is my old pour, not my old, but one I mixed up yesterday. Let's get this off to the side, get rid of these colors. All right, I'll organize later. That's, how, that's why I'm so unorganized, because I just throw everything back. Well, backwards, I'm not supposed to be that. Okay, so now, to get this out of the way, we're gonna get the pillow paint out. Keep my water up here in case I need that. Get my rack. Make sure you guys are still in view. Oh, and there goes my light, see? Slow down, mama. Oh, see, now my light's breaking. Ugh. Well, it's broken. <laughs> Still working. So I guess it's not broken, broken. Okay. Right. Okay, fun part. Actually, doing the painting. Um, this is what I use. It's just a house paint. Um, 
Valspar, Silk, which is like, I think the equivalent to semi-gloss. Um, again, you get the best pillow advice, pillow paint advice uh, in the group. Um, this is the first one I started using. Done. I had issues. I got the bigger tub because it was cheaper. And when I got it, the paint was split, so I had to mix it really well. And I didn't have a proper mixing stick, so I was getting a bit of cracking. But I was mixing, and I have to... I wait for this to dry and then just peel it off. But I got a proper mixing stick, so I don't think it'll be an issue. But so this is what I use. Just a um, house paint for the pillow. So I'm pouring this in here. Just boom. All right. Sorry, guys. Camera cut out, but it's fine. Okay. So here's my canvas. Here's my pillow paint. Oh, my goodness. Activator. See? All right, that's fine. This only takes a second. I use Amsterdam titanium white and water. That's it. Sometimes I'm still kind of experimenting with ink. Um, sometimes I'll do a drop, like two, two to three drops in the cell activator, but I kind of go back and forth with it. I'll do it and I'm like, I kind of like just the titanium white and the water. So. Let me wipe off this because I'm out of sticks. So yeah, that's what I do. So let's really quick get some of this into the cup. And you don't need a lot. There's that. And then water. Now this, I like it to kind of run off the stick, right? It's got. I like it. It's got to be thin. It has to be thin. Thinner than your other paints. I know people kind of go back and forth and say thicker, but for me, thinner than my other paints. Um, and I usually do a practice. And if I don't see that cell explosion, I'll go and add a small bit more water into my activator. And the reason I started doing the Amsterdam and water only for the cell activator is because Rinska, when she does her Dutch pour, she just uses Amsterdam and water and she gets amazing cells. So I was like, I have done it. I have gotten results with Ultral. A lot of people don't get the results with the Ultral, but I have. Um, and then I just, I said, you know what? Let's just try it with this and see if I can get better results. And I just did water and titanium white and it just, as soon as I blew, it was like explosion. So see, that's another ingredient that the flow trawl um, you could save on if you do it this way. So I don't think it has to be that expensive. I think in the beginning it will, it could be the pouring medium goes a long way. You don't use, I'm using less paint, you know, I'm not wasting as much. So I think once you get it down and you get to know your products that you're using, it doesn't have to be expensive. Okay, so I, that is too thick. So I'm just gonna add more water. And these Amsterdam paints, they they can take water. Um, I know most say you, they can take up to 30, brands take up to 30% of water before they start breaking. But you add water to these Amsterdam paints and the, it keeps the color. Um, they don't break. Okay, so. Sorry guys, I'm my kids are gonna be home soon and I thought I would have time and I, I'm going to have time, but I just have to speed. Okay, I can't believe I forgot about that anyway. So I am going to Okay, and that's it. That should be good. See now normally I do a little on an old canvas, a small little puddle of uh pillow, layer my colors, and that's a good way as well if you layer your colors differently on a practice board to see what is the best way to um layer them when you're doing your actual painting okay 
So that's that. Let's get my colors. Let's see what my order is going to be today. What did I do on that one? Uh, I think I went this way. So I got my cell activator, my canvas, my colors, my pillow paint. Okay, so let's get this water out of the way. Now I'm gonna take my puddle or my pillow paint. Yes, you use a lot. <laughs> Okay, get that out of the way. Okay, and let's see, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do, check my consistencies. Dash of water to this, I'll show you guys now. I gotta have loads of air bubbles because I'm just mixing these up and using them. Okay, so here's this one. It's so sticky and lovely. This one, I'm guessing I'm good, yeah. This one is good. And I know this one is good. Okay, so. I'm gonna start in the middle. You don't really need that many. I like to just do lots, but you don't need that many for the small of a canvas. The one I, oh, the painting that I did the last night was insane. <laughs> it was an 18 by 24 inch. And yeah, I'm gonna post the video on that today or at some stage. Okay, so that's good. Again, so you could do one bigger one in the middle, whatever. Float your boat, and then the Snapdragon Arteza mix. Okay, and last one of that. You guys probably fast forward through this part because this is the part that takes a little time and my all time favorite, as we all know. That always happens to me. I just fall in love with a certain color and I continue to use it, but I'm sure I'll get sick of it soon. Okay. Get these out of the way. And for me, I do mix up that mix. Okay. So I do, this is what I do is I do one drop and then two drops. I don't know. Right? And then I do my blow. Sometimes I'll do pour it on two. two. Okay. And it's all about the blow. So you need to practice the blow. Um, if that's probably, if you're not getting results, it's probably because of that. See how oh, kind of, I messed that up, but we'll fix it. And then it starts popping. Hopefully you guys can see it. I think the angles are right. And then I'll wait for it to come in. I'll fix this. Well, I'll fix this now, actually. 
Okay. So yeah, I can tell that my consistency for my top, the cell activator is good because of that amazingness. You really just gotta play around with the blow, okay? Again, there's two drops, and you could see that that's just hope you guys can see. Yes, okay. I got one and two, just how I do. Okay. This should be a good one. I think this is going to be a nice one. So pretty. Need a turn table. Okay, and then lastly, well, it might blow a bit of that way. Okay, that's okay. That'll get poured off most likely. Okay, the middle one. Boom. All right, I'll let that come back in and see how that middle looks. So that's an important part. I'm gonna do this fast because I'm out of camera space. My phone's gonna die. Just trying to get that a little, okay. I kind of messed that middle one up, but it's fine. Okay, so you wanna wait for it to come and then and there's lots of ways you can tilt. Just depends on what you're going for. Okay, I'm doing this fast. I would normally go pretty slow. It's just amazing to me how everything stretches and it just comes to life when you're tilting. It's and even the tiniest of areas where you didn't think that there were going to be cells. They just open up and come to life. And it's like right here, like these, it's just, it's fascinating. <laughs> okay. You got to know where your weight is and all that. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to quickly go this way. Now I don't know, we'll see how this turns out, but I'm just trying to be quick, guys. I'm 
just right now, if I if I post this video, I don't know how much troubleshooting I'm gonna be doing outside, um, you know, the group and all that right now. So I strongly recommend taking the course, regardless. The recipe is out there. You need to learn from the master. See, I even think if this white was there, I think that would be really cool negative space. But I'm going to go. I'm going to show you guys how far you could stretch these. Get that back in the middle. There it goes. These colors together are gorgeous. Feel free to fast forward. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you can just see how far of a stretch these take the pouring medium lets you take. I'm literally holding <laughs> straight up. Okay, I'll probably leave it at that, which I'm happy with. I think it's kind of cool that way. Okay, so I always kind of go back the way to the paint in the center and I go a little bit more down so those don't look so stretched. But it's just, it's unbelievable to me. I love it. I mean, look at that. And that's what the water and titanium white. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm gonna, composition wise, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna turn it my way so I can see. I'll bring in for a close up and then I'm gonna call it because I gotta get cleaned up. All right, here we go. Close up. So that's the way I'm liking it. I love it. Okay, besides the mixing up part and all that, it's for the smaller ones, it's quick. It's once you get the hang of it, it's not hard. It's I don't want to say easy, but it's not easy, but you know what I mean? It's it's doable. I think everybody can do this. They just gotta practice. And it's amazing. So well done, Shelly, for teaching us your way. Okay. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoy, subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that jazz. Check my description for links. In um, what do I have? Social media accounts down there. You can follow me on Facebook. Uh, I have an Amazon shop now. It's still in the works, but it's there. I have a list of all my favorite colors. Um, and what else? PayPal link if you want to donate to the channel. Um, hopefully soon I'll get a website up. But if you see something on one of these videos that you'd be interested in purchasing, just email me or message me on my social media accounts and we'll discuss. All right, guys. Again, Shout out to all my lovely fellow artists on YouTube. Bye, guys.